Well, hello, and uh, I'm really so delighted to be here, I can't tell you, and one of the key reasons is because it's not just that 40% of adults have never switched their bank account, it's that you're more likely to get divorced twice than you are to change your bank account. That's the extraordinary statistic, so, uh, and hopefully this is going to change all that, so I really do want to um, congratulate Go Compare for being at market leading edge of, uh, of providing this excellent new tool for consumers. So over the last five years, obviously we started back in 2010 with a financial services sector that was pretty largely broken, and not only that, but massively mistrusted. And of course the financial crisis forced so many um, unwanted mergers, so the concentration of banking in the personal current account and SME sector was even worse than we started with, and it was already bad before the financial crisis. So what we've wanted to do during the last five years is absolutely to sort out the regulatory backbone of the financial sector, but also really importantly, and certainly a completely number one priority for me since I came into this job a year ago, has been to look at the whole competition and choice aspect of personal current account and SME banking. And so, of course, there's two ways to look at that. One is you want lots more financial services providers, so you want loads more competition, you want lots of new entrants. And so, as some of you might know, in 2010, um, I remember our first inquiry on the Treasury Select Committee that I was delighted to be a member of. We heard from Metro Bank, who'd just been awarded the first full-service banking license in 100 years. I mean, that is extraordinary. So one of the first things we did was to remove the regulatory barriers to entry. And of course, now we've got around 20 potential banks and other financial services providers talking to the re regulatory authorities about getting a banking license. So that's one side of competition and choice, is getting lots more providers in there. And of course, we've got the whole financial technology side, which um, my data is an absolutely core part of. But then the other side of it is the push factor, is trying to get people to decide to switch banks. You know, you don't have to stay with your bank and get divorced instead. You could actually switch banks and hopefully you'd have a brighter financial future. So, um, so we've also been trying very hard to make it easier for people to switch. So our our whole um, CAS system, enabling people to switch banks within seven working days, has been about trying to ensure that people have the ability to vote with their feet if they don't like the service they're getting, if they're fed up of their bank, if they just feel they'd like to try someone else. But of course, the absolutely missing point, and one that I think my data is going to address, is why should I switch? What's the point? They're all the same. And that's so much been the message that, um, that we all have. I mean, I have to confess, I, I won't tell you who I bank with, but I've never switched my bank account. I've opened one or two others, but I've never actually closed one. So, um, so it's really important important to all of us that we actually have a reason for switching and so the my data um, project was born to try and enable people to see okay in the rearview mirror if I was to have had my time again who could I have banked with and what would have given me a better deal and that's absolutely vital is to have that missing piece of the jigsaw which is you've got lots of choice and you've got an easier way of switching, but now you just need the why should I switch? And so I think some of the statistics I think you were you were giving about um, people saying they would switch if there was a reason to do so. Well, hopefully, my data will provide them with the reason to do so. And so I'm delighted that the banks have signed up to it, um, and uh, you know, like it or hate it, it's part of the new competitive future. I'm absolutely delighted that my data represents a really fundamental part of our new fintech financial technology growing sector that is, I think, going to transform the way we do financial services in the future. And I'm also really grateful to Go Compare for being the first ones to kick off with this. And uh, as a strong advocate of choice and competition, I sincerely hope they won't be the only ones providing it. Hope you don't mind me saying that since you're our host today. But um, it's been a fantastic piece of work. I sincerely hope that over the next few months and couple of years, we'll start to see switching levels really significantly increase as a result. And not only that, 
that, but we'll also start to see better customer service, more distinctive customer propositions, and generally, overall, a much better um, choice and competitive outlook for consumers and for small businesses. So thank you all very much for being here today.